threats have forced the Middletown football coach to resign. Lance Engelke says he won't tolerate the abuse any longer. Local 12's Brad Underwood spent the evening in Middletown where the coach's resignation is the talk of the town. It was a rough season for the Middies. Middletown went 1-9 this year, and they didn't win a game in 2016. After two years as head coach, Lance Engelke had a 1-19 record. In a resignation letter, he explains why he can't coach anymore. Quote, the online death threats, threats of physical violence, personal and deceitful attacks from parents and community members, and verbal abuse leveled against myself, my family, and my coaching staff have devolved into an unsafe environment which I refuse to tolerate. A former Middletown student recalls Ingle K and is blown away by the idea someone would threaten him. Ingle K is a sweet guy. Like he cares about all of his kids. He cares about the people he coaches and he's not he's not really the type that you'd think would get death threats just because he's so sweet. Ingle K's letter goes on to say, quote, these threats of physical harm and verbal abuse stem from misguided community perspective on the irrational importance on winning high school football games, unrealistic expectations from parents related to their son's abilities and future prospects, and parental belief that bullying coaches is an acceptable method of communication. And Sage Brown agrees. People care about their kids a lot, and I can understand that. But at a certain point, you have to recognize that it is a game, and it may be your kid's ticket into college, but it's not serious enough that people should send death threats. The school district declined to comment on Ingle K's resignation. In Middletown, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And at the moment, no reports of threats of any kind have been filed with the police department.